the next topic is subject matter of contract of sale the subject matter of contract of sale has three points the points are first <coughs> subject matter is goods what do you sell you always sell goods so the subject matter the essence the thing that you sell is always goods so the subject matter of a contract of sale will always be goods it will always be goods now the goods may be contingent the contract itself may be contingent i've told you what is a contingent contract i've told you what are contingent goods you know it is quite possible that goods may come in existence after some time you do not know if the goods will come into existence or no so your contract is dependent on those goods because it is quite possible that goods might not reach you know to you safely i i i had given you that example of ship which has left from you know england and it is coming to india so your goods are in that ship so now you do not know if the goods will reach bombay or no if the goods reach bombay you'll get them and you can sell them let's say if the ship sinks you will not be able to sell the goods so this kind of a contract is a contingent contract relating to goods so it is quite possible you know the subject matter may be contingent so first thing is it always has to be goods the subject matter of contract of sale always has to be goods second goods may be contingent third goods may be future also please remember in case of future goods it is always agreement to sell always there can never be a case that in case of future goods you have done a sale contract because goods will come into existence at a future date and only when they come into existence can their ownership be transferred so once they come into existence the example of uh, uh, i gave you was of potatoes when the potatoes themselves are not into existence how can you transfer the ownership you can only transfer the ownership once they are into existence <clears throat> how can you transfer the ownership of shoes which have not yet been manufactured you cannot transfer the ownership of shoes which have not yet been manufactured once they will be manufactured the ownership can be transferred that is the ownership will get transferred on a future date that means for future goods there will always be an agreement to sell because in agreement to sell the ownership is transferred at future date 